guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna break down Foo Fighters, best of you. Real quick, huge shout out and thank you to Gibson Guitars for giving me my dream ES335. It's an honor to be teaching you with it right now. You can actually get this very guitar uh, or a bunch of other amazing Gibsons at their website in the link in the description. So check it out and uh, let's break this lesson down. All right, this first chord is a type of C sharp minor. Uh, we're gonna put our ring finger on the fourth fret A string, which is the C sharp. Uh, then we're gonna do index finger on the second fret of the D. And then pinky is gonna be on fourth fret G. And then you're gonna get the B and high E to ring out with the whole chord. So then the next move is a type of A chord. So this first one we'll call C sharp minor. The next one is an A major chord or like an A suspended chord actually. We'll just call it A. But the voicing is pretty cool. The pinky stays. We call it a sussy thing. So that pinky still on the fourth of the G. Index has moved over to the second of the D. And you have the open A string. You also still have the B in high E. So basically you're just taking your ring finger off. But it's nice, especially when you kick in distortion, to mute that top thickest string there. And it's easiest for me, just because of the shape of my hand, to just take my middle finger, which is already kind of in the area, and just lightly mute that E string. Now, if you don't do anything, even if you strummed it with the string in there, it still works, but it's a little better to mute that top string on that second chord. So, C sharp minor, then A sussy thing. Repeat. Right, so a new chord. Pinky still is on the fourth of the G. But now ring finger comes down to the fourth of the D. Index grabs the second of the A, which is a B note. So this is a B sussy thing. You've got the high E and open B, sussifying it. So that's the third chord. So we have the C sharp minor. Sussy thing and back. Now the B sussy thing to the A. So what you're gonna do is ring's gonna come off, index is gonna hop over to that second of the D. So And it's someone giving you the best, the best, the best, the best of you is C sharp minor that we already have. But then the B sussy thing, so. And then the A sussy thing. It does it again. Is someone giving the C sharp minor B sussy thing? A sussy thing. Uh, three times, I believe. Now, the good news is that's that's like the bulk of the chords for the song. Well, you know, you've got three guitar players, at least three layered guitar parts going on. 
for instance, on uh, someone giving the best, the best, the best of you, you've got one guitar that's going the C sharp minor, B sussy, A sussy, right? But then there's a there's an octave line that's climbing up. So I want to show you that, and then it also does some more beyond that. But that second part that really goes along great with the someone giving the best, the best, the best, the best of you is this. And so you're playing fourth fret A and sixth fret G, and that's all you're hearing. So you're muting everything else uh, pretty much with your index finger. So fourth fret and sixth fret, the shape stays, you move it up a whole step, and then a half step. So that's going to go along with it. So it, it does climb, there are at least one guitar part that continues to climb up because something does happen after it goes through, you know, the after it goes through this form again and it's rocking out, when you have the chorus, someone's giving the best, the best of you, there's a new chord added. So just like uh, a fourth chord added to it. So check it out. You do it the same way, that C sharp uh, minor. <laughs> the B sus, and then the A sus, but then it goes to an F sharp, and you can think of it as like an F sharp bar chord, so second fret, fourth, fourth, third, but then the open B and high E still. But emphasize the power chord of it, right? So when you add that extra chord, it looks like this, kind of slow. B, A, F sharp, back to the C sharp minor. B, A, F sharp. Right? That's that's that part. Then the other things to think about, which really no, I don't think any new chords. It, there's just some rhythmic hits, right? So on the C sharp minor, you know, it's got some things that happen, but no like real new chords or riffs to learn. When you're in that later chorus and the extra chord is added, the octave part that goes along with it. So it would be, you know, four and six, and then six and eight, seven and a nine, but then up to nine and eleven. So that's one of those other little elements to add to it. And so on that C sharp hit, do, do, digga, 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 do, do, digga, 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 do. Get those, get those in there. 